Hello, this is another video on Dialux Evo. This time I'd like to show you how to construct a staircase. As promised we're going to talk about stairs. Here we have quite a nice example of some underlit stairs. They have been built using extrusion bodies. You can see it when I'm clicking on this element. Extrusion bodies or extrusion volumes they are called. So let's have a look at a simpler project like here and it's these stairs which are going to construct. I know that I have to cover a distance of 3 meters and 20 and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and then the 19th step to go. So if I divide 320 centimeters by 19 that will mean I would have 16.8 centimeters per each step. Then the length of each step I can take from the floor plan. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to construct these. I'm using a help grid, a reference line grid beginning here, and I'm going to use it only for the first half of the stairs because for the second half I'm going to create a second grid and this first grid is then going to run only until this place roughly. So with this grid you see I have three points one to turn, a small x to define the end of my grid and these points to define the distance of my grid. Here in this case I've been setting the distance x to 32 centimeters which is exactly the length of each step. So this one is the distance y which is just as we've been calculating 60.8 centimeters, 168 millimeters. So that's the grid we're going to use and we have the same grid on the second half. So let's draw another one. Doing it twice is also way of repeating things and getting more routine to it. This one was, was 32 and the other one 168. 0 0.168. That's the correct distance and that's where the stair is going to end. Now to be more exact I'd like to move the grid to this place and work without the small overhang we have here. Then we can start the construction process. Extrusion volume or extrusion body. I can give it a name from the beginning. Stairway. And I have to draw it. That's important. Drag and drop won't help you because this will only create a cube. You have to draw the extrusion body. You have to be very exact. First point and second point. And from the third point onwards you may go backwards using the Ctrl Z button if you're clicking wrong. For example here, Ctrl Z takes me one step back. You can go back as many steps as you want to, as long as you leave two points unchanged. You have to keep the first two points. If you want to change those, you have to do the whole thing once again. Then you have to do it from the beginning. Unfortunately at the moment you were not able to make it possible that you can change uh, the construction of an uh, extrusion body after you have finished its construction. Only using boolean operations that would be, would be of course possible. So now we're almost through with the upper side of the stairs. We can now construct the lower side which can be of course much simpler. We can make it with a straight line don't have to do it stepwise. Now close and we have constructed out of a polygon the contour of the stairs which we are going to rotate now. Rotate around the green axis and then we shall lift it so that it's entirely above the floor. Here we are. If I look on the floor plan now, I would like to use the blue points to adjust the position. And you can see the distance or the width is not correct and I can stretch it. The stretch function is still available to optimize or modify an extrusion volume. Now moving to the interior view, I can see how well 
that stairway fits into the scene. You see all 19 steps and the last one is up on the upper floor. I could now take that stairway which I've been creating and insert it into the upper floor as well because the stair, you can see it here, stairway number one is available now in the catalog and can now be marked as a favorite if needed. You may create several stairways and exchange them with your colleagues and friends and therefore make the work more valuable. Then thank you very much for listening and enjoy the work with extrusion bodies and creating of stairways. Mm -hmm.